Hey, what's happening, you version community? My name is Derwin L. Gray. I am the lead pastor and co-founder, along with my wife, Vicki, of Transformation Church in the greater Charlotte, North Carolina area. And Matthew 5, 4 says this, Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. The word blessed in the Greek is the word makros. And makros literally means happy. So, a literal translation would be happy are those who mourn for they will be comforted. What in the world is happening? Jesus is tying our happiness into mourning and God's comfort. What does it mean to mourn? To mourn means that you are sad. So there's a lot of things to be sad about. First of all, there are personal things in our lives to be sad about, whether if it's our own personal sin, whether if it's the way we've been wounded, the way we've wounded others. As we look at our culture, as we look at the world, there's a lot to mourn and to be sad about. A part of us discovering the happiness that God has called us to experience is to grieve or to mourn, that we cry out and say, Lord, this was wrong, this was unjust, this is bad, this hurts. And in the midst of all of that, we see a crucified Savior who says, I know, but I also rose on the third day, defeating sin and death and evil. And our hope and our comfort and our happiness is rooted in the one who says, I know your pain, I've absorbed your pain, all of the injustice was poured out upon me so that all of my grace and mercy can be poured upon you. And the reality is uh, we may mourn on a Friday, but Sunday is coming. In other words, what we don't grieve won't leave. So may we grieve so that the God of grace will give us the comfort and the strength that we need. So blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted.